Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to solve a rational equation. Rational means there are fractions there. Okay, here we go. The first thing you do, the first thing you always do, is you factor. So, here we'll have 5 over x plus 4. Oh, that's kind of weird minus 2 over x minus 4 equals 2x getting used to a new tablet here over x squared minus 16 of course factors into the difference of two squares x plus 4 times x minus 4. Let's pull this out a little bit. All right, we need to develop an LCD. And that LCD ne needs to be able to cancel out x plus 4, x minus 4, and x plus 4 times x minus 4. Well, x minus 4 is taken care of right there, and x plus 4 is taken care of right there. So all we need for the LCD to be is x plus 4 times x minus 4. And I'm going to multiply on both sides of the equation by x plus 4 times x minus 4. Now what this means for us is that every term will get multiplied by x plus 4 times x minus 4. So let's do that. I'll have 5 times x plus 4 times x minus 4 over x plus 4 because when you multiply a fraction by a whole number, which essentially is what this LCD is, that means you multiply the numerator. And we'll have 2 times x plus 4 times x minus 4 over x minus 4. And that's going to equal 2x times x plus 4 times x minus 4 over x plus 4 times x minus 4. And what that means for us is that we will get to cancel, which is one of my favorite things. So the x plus 4's cancel right here, and the x minus 4's cancel right here, and the x plus 4's cancel, and the x minus 4's cancel. And so what I'll be left with is 5 times x minus 4 minus 2 times x plus 4 equals 2x. And now I'm going to solve this equation. 5x minus 20 minus 2x minus 8 equals 2x. 5x minus 2x is 3x. And negative 20 minus 8 is minus 28. And that's going to equal 2x. And I need to come up here and continue. So what I have right now is 3x minus 28 equals 2x. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides.
both sides of the equation. That leaves me with negative 28. Don't lose your minus sign. Now the great thing about negative 1 is you can either multiply both sides by negative 1 or divide both sides by negative 1. I prefer to divide both sides by negative 1. And so the answer I get, the solution of my equation, is 28. So that's the answer to part B. Assuming that 28 does not make any of these denominators 0, but it doesn't. I mean, 28 plus 4 is 32, and 28 minus 4 is 24, and 28 squared, I'm not even going to calculate that, but that will not be 0. Okay, so the answer to B is going to be 28, but I never did A. Let's do A. Let me cordon this off. Now I'm going to do part A. We need to find what number, what value of x is going to make the denominators equal 0. And then we take that out of the domain. So I'm going to set x plus 4 equal to 0 and solve that equation. x equals negative 4. So now I know that x cannot be allowed to equal negative 4. And then I'll set x minus 4 equal to 0. So x minus 4 equals 0. So x equals 4. OK. So um, x cannot be allowed to equal positive 4 either. And then setting this, x squared minus 16 equals equal to 0 means I'm setting x plus 4 times x minus 4 equal to 0, which means I'm setting each one equal to 0. That is, I'm setting x plus 4 equal to 0, but I already did that. x minus 4 equal to 0, but I already did that. So now I know that x cannot equal negative 4 or 4. So the answer to part B is going to be negative 4, comma 4. That'll be in an answer box. And now we've answered parts A and part B. Okay, I'll talk to you later.